Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This bout is proudly sponsored to us by Gumdale Demolitions. Three by a three minute round. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Last night weighing in at 59.6 kilograms. A fight record of 12 fights for eight wins, two draws, and two coming by way of KO. He is trained by Don Miller out of the Superfight Gym in Melbourne via Italy. Please welcome the Sicario, Giampolo Iacobino. And now introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Last night weighing in at 59.6 kilograms. Undefeated, two fights for two wins. He is trained at a Muay Thai militia and representing Logan, Queensland, Australia. Connor Killen Gillen. Both fighters are Waiku Ramboy. Having a look at the tail of the tape, Connor Gillen, although it says there two fights, two wins, he's also had 16 fights as a junior here in Queensland. In turn, Jacopino, 12 fights. Six of those fights have been over in Italy and Europe, so international experience from him. On paper, this one's a great matchup, Daddy Cook. Yeah, a bit of a bit of a difference in age and the young bull against the old bull, but uh, you know the the Italian, he, he looks. He looks hungry. Um, South Paw ready to go. So make their way into the middle. And I predict a, a, a fast start potentially from Killen Gillen out of the red. Obviously uh, coming out of Muay Thai militia. We saw Aaron Harburger start very quick, not not have that slow start in the first round. Three rounders, got to get it done, got to get it done fast. So uh, there's no time to dilly dally around in the first round. There's no filling out process in the three rounders. Don Miller making the trip up with the Italian fighter. Southpaw always going forward, always wanting to hurt his opponent. Like you said, Hammer, this uh, they could clash straight from the start. Got to get going. Got the Pino from Melbourne, fighting out of Melbourne, and of course, don't forget hardcore fight night next Friday, the 28th of April. Hardcore promotions bringing a sensational night of Muay Thai. So uh, check that out if you're in Melbourne. Of course, the Rebellion fans, May 27th. Rebellion is back also in Melbourne. So a couple of big fight nights coming up in Melbourne town from where Jacopino comes from with my good self. It looks like your traditional uh, old school kickboxer versus Thai boxing clash no, here, nice, Hammer. Nice skip up, push kick there from Gillen. I like, I like his style, I like his movement. But uh, hopefully you can get a bit of pressure, a bit of power. You know, the thing is with a lot of the, those that fluent freestyle, fight style, sometimes it, it can detract from your power. You're not sitting on your punches hard enough and your kicks aren't rolling with enough power. But it's going to be so frustrating for Jacopino at this point. That'd be cool. Yeah, he still looks pretty calm. He, he's, he's fired back a few shots of his own. He's just going to try and time that in out, sort of, as we see there. Great time with the kick. As we see, the Connor just bouncing on the balls of his foot in and out. He needs to time his shots. As he's coming in and out, as we see, Connor just bouncing around. Big as, left kick. Well, I said, Connor, 19 years of age, he's only got two fights, two wins in the pro ranks as an adult, but he's had 16 fights as a junior. Let's not forget that. He just uh, gets, meets the canvas there. Nice and calm. Connor also the WBC Queensland state title Queensland champion. So uh, 
Ooh. even at 19 years of age, has achieved uh, good things already, this young fella. Nice high kick there. Dangerous from Sicaro. You see the, to the body to the head. Nice straight left hand to the body and head. Again, the push kick proving troublesome for Jacopino. Circling the right way is Gillen. Big power shots coming off that left side. As we see, he gets a push kick up nice. An early oh, hammer nice. and, and, can, and can keep him off at times. Big kick again. Circles around again. The push kick is proven to be his favourite weapon, kicking the supporting leg as well. And skip up push kick. Mr. Excitement, Killen Gillen. Out of the red, doing it well. Giacopino, patient, the veteran, experienced. Yeah, big power shots there. The end of the round one from Connor Gillen. Connor Gillen rampaging in the first round. No slow starting for him, as I predicted. Yeah, definitely. He, he just needs that, that constant pressure up while, Absolutely. while the Italian fighter is standing there. He's trying to think. He's trying to work out. Up yeah. thumping away. Trying to work out the puzzle that is Connor Gillen, is Gian Polo Jacopino. The Italian ha having a bit of trouble just trying to read the rhythm of, of Connor. But this exciting prospect, this 19 year old from Logan. not even breathing hard I look at fighters in between the breaks always to see how their conditioning is and uh, got his mouth closed breathing through his nose no problems uh, got a good gas tank got him the young man that's what happens when you're young you, I, I remember that no, actually I don't remember those days too long ago nice time kick there fake the, now he's starting to fake the push kick Clever tactics from Killen Gillen. And Jacopino. Oh, it's tough. Oh, gets caught. Nice sharp right oh, hand. Just a slip. Not nice. a knockdown counted. Nice sharp right hand play he, on. He popped right up though, Jacopino. Testament to his toughness, the Italian. Yeah, he got caught. Big, Big punches shots. again. Big shots. Unloading. Gillen, Gillen unloading, Jacopino, tough as you like. Oh, elbow meets forehead. Here comes Gillen. How tough is the Italian? Oh, another clubbing right hand. Yeah, he has some of those right hands. He's, he's calm through the storm, but that right hand's caught him, and he's having a home for it. Trying to unload with the power is Jacopino. Gillen having none of it 19 year old queenslander out of the red corner there's an absolute rampaging bull at this point output is uh ultimate just throwing kicks and punches from all levels that he called yeah he's, he's trying to catch him as he's throwing those kicks as he just sits back on the rope he can't afford to to get too cozy on the ropes Sicaro is locked in, locked in. Jacopino, Gianpaolo Jacopino in the blue corner has uh, really had that foot implanted into his chest a number of times by the push kick of Conor Gillen. And getting in close to clinch yeah. he's Just. trying to get out of the striking way. But fresh as a daisy. And he's putting that push kick up onto the chest, which makes it hard to parry. If it's around the stomach area, you can you can balk it or parry it. But when it's up on your chest, it's real hard to get around. And he's got such range with his legs too, Gillen. Elbows now starting to fly in the blue corner. He'll spin perhaps, Gillen. Yeah, Jacopino just... in a bit of bother, but still keeping the oh. guard up. Oh, each one, each two. Made of stone is the head of Jacopino. Yeah, Chet. Biting into that mouth guard. 
He's charging forward, not phased by any of those shots. And another big body kick. Big left kicks. Gillen trying to get the head kick up. Goes in, round kick of his own and finishes. Again with a bit of a combo to punctuate what was the second round. He's in a fight. He's in a fight here. He's uh, applied good pressure after those elbows, but sat off a little bit. I don't think he, he's got the uh, luxury to sit back at this stage because the young Connor Gillen is just charging forward with shots coming from everywhere. Yeah, the 33-year-old Gianpaolo Jacopino out of the blue corner has uh, met with uh, a handful of a fighter. Yeah, got, got Connor caught. Gillen. Gillen just unloading, got some good power. It's good speed ratio. The push kick that is used uh, a number of times in this fight has paid big dividends for him. I'd like to see he's, he's got the, an opportunity there for an uppercut. He keeps punching on the guard, but he yeah, can probably get, sneak an uppercut elbow or an uppercut punch there if he's uh, aware of it. Gets carried away, gets just sees, right up to his seam there. and sees that red uh, flag, like a bull to red flag. Third Connor fight. Gillen. Third fight, uh, you know, worth mentioning again, Connor Gillen. So, you know, a lot of things fighting ahead, up, above his... Both his experience, level, but yeah. uh, can the Italian bring it back? Only his third fight as a pro, but had a great uh, career as a junior with 16 fights. And let me tell you, juniors in Queensland are a whole other level, you know. They really are. They, they, they breed him special up here in the north. I've always been a fan of Queensland Muay Thai from the evolution days, Daddy Cool. But yeah, used, to pick that up, used to pick the walkout. <laughs> One of the favourite walkouts of all time in any Aussie combat sport was yours, my friend. Uh, I miss the old days, but uh, we've got very good young, uh, talent, young now. talent coming through. Just like Connor Gillen right now in centre ring, bouncing on the balls of his feet. Angles and work rate. Giacopino shows moments of... Uh, technique that are doing damage but probably not enough I feel those boys started to telegraph their kicks you see a nice body kick there just as I say that hands to follow a return serve from Gillen he's got the height and reach advantage absolutely and using it to full effect that body kick there. Yeah, Capino is probably more suited to five rounds, I feel. Yeah, he's, he's started to, to land that body kick well, and we saw in the previous fight if you can time that kick and, oh, no, no. and, and take control of the fight, but as we see again, but might just be a bit too little. And then the relentless pressure. As soon as he feels a few shots too that he doesn't like, he's straight on you. Killing Gillen. It's under a minute to go in this third and final round now. Gillen hasn't looked even a little bit tired. Just now Jacopino is moving a bit more, which is oh, a jumping knee. Beautifully done, Jacopino. Off target. But Gillen, keen to mix it up. Give those punish gloves another test out. Push kick to the chest. He's going to have that front foot embedded into his upper chest as Jacopino. Again with a push kick. And this is a showcase of push kicking excellence here from Connor Gillen. Quick count low kick. Jacopino, nice body kick. Again, textbook stuff. Very strong body kicks from the blue corner, but it's just not throwing them enough. There it is, third and final round. Big strong finish, blue corner with those kicks, but... Some nice body kicks in the third. Started to read the tempo a little bit better. Gianpaolo Jacopino out of the blue corner. But still it was the pace and timing and, and definite long range of uh, Conor Gillen, who started like a bull at a gate. From the, from the first round, there was no slow starting for him. Racked up the points early in that first round. Yeah, you, and, got, uh, you got a flash knockdown the second two and then yeah. a very strong round. So yeah. 
be an interesting one for the for the judges, but a strong finish from the blue corner. Those those kicks he started control on the fight, and you know high scoring points. Good rounds, good matchup once again here on Eruption. And uh, John O'Armond will make it all efficient, all official in a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, what a fight. Another one in the books. Once again, we have gone to the judges' scorecard. All three judges had it going the same way, declaring your winner by unanimous points decision. The red corner, corner, Killen Gillen. And uh, what a young, great young prospect he is too. Had a, had a great career as a junior, and now he's backing it up. He goes to three fights for three wins. Connor Killen Gillen for Muay Thai Militia here in Queensland. Gets the eruption medal around his neck and a happy team.